Hi there! So, which is your favorite mechanical switch for your keyboard? Is it red or blue or brown? Well, actually it doesn't matter as long as you have a hot swappable mechanical keyboard like this one. And in order to design a printed circuit board with uh, hot swappable mechanical keys, you need this little gadget here because it is a pure game changer. This is Keo Hot Swap Socket for mechanical switches for surface mount technology assembly on printed circuit boards. I know that if you hear it for the first time, it may sound a little bit complicated, but actually it is super simple and straightforward. Let me explain it, but I'll need a printed circuit board and here comes our sponsor. PCBWay.com are specialized in quick and high quality production of printed circuit boards, especially for prototypes. I have designed a printed circuit board for a small mechanical keyboard and PCBWay manufactured it and delivered it through DHL in less than 4 days. It is a LED free 2 layer printed circuit board with black cover and white seal screen. But that's not all, PCBWay also offers assembly, 3D printing and CNC services. If you're looking for prototyping or manufacturing of your own mechanical keyboard, visit PCBWay.com to learn more details. There are different ways how to make a hot swappable mechanical keyboard. Several years ago, I created a YouTube video uh, to convert this uh, Anavi Macropad 8 to a hot swap mechanical keyboard using hot tight sockets. Although this is totally possible, I highly recommend you to nowadays instead design printed circuit boards using the hot swappable uh, sockets for surface mount technology. The sockets that I have here for hot swappable mechanical keyboards that are appropriate for surface mount technology assembly are under the brand Keo, if I pronounce it right, and they're manufactured by the Chinese company Keihua Electronics, sorry if my pronunciation is not correct. This company was founded in 1990, so they have more than 30 years of experience and they have customers all around the world. Actually, they are very well known in the mechanical keyboard community. Keihua uh, has a high-end uh, uh, factory equipment including uh, high-end injection molding machines from Germany and CNC machines from Switzerland. On your screen you can see the datasheet of the KO hot swap socket including a mechanical drawing. Actually this product was released on the market in 2016. The hot swap socket has an operating lifetime of at least 100 cycles. I don't expect anyone to change the mechanical switches every day, so 100 cycles is actually quite a lot. Using a mechanical keyboard with hot swappable sockets allows you not only to experiment with different switches, but also to very easily repair and replace a switch if it's broken. Of course, there are some minor disadvantages of the KO hot swap sockets. Uh, for example, the switches with extra PCB mount legs on the bottom uh, cannot fit with the socket design and in this case you can just clip the legs. Although, based on my personal experience, the mechanical switches in the hot swap KO sockets are pretty stable, I have to say that it's possible that the switch can come loose and level. To avoid this, a plate should be used as part of the mechanical keyboard enclosure. As I already mentioned, the Cahill hot swap sockets are available as components for surface mount technology. This is a way for assembly of components on printed circuit boards using the so-called pick and place machines. The components are provided on reels like this reel with um, hot swappable sockets, which reels are um, loaded into pick and place machines and after that the machine picks each individual component and places it on the right spot on the printed circuit board. This way the manufacturing becomes significantly easier compared to other options for hot swappable mechanical keyboards like 
hole tight sockets. And this is the major advantage of the Cahill hot swap mechanical uh, sockets for mechanical keyboards. Let's have a look and explore a printed circuit board that I have designed with KiCad, which features the KO hot swap sockets for a mechanical keyboard. This is a printed circuit board for a very super small, actually, a mechanical keyboard that has only four keys, the arrows, a rotary encoder and a mini OLED display. The board is called Anavi Arrows and here is an early prototype. KiCad is a free and open source software for designing printed circuit boards. It runs on Microsoft Windows, Mac OS and my favorite choice Linux distributions. Here I'm using it on Ubuntu. In this video I'm using KiCad version 6. There is a KiCad library featuring various mechanical switches, including the KO hot swap socket. As you can see in the board schematics, I have assigned this footprint to the buttons. You can see how the board looks in the PCB view, including the footprints for the KO hot swap sockets. Of course, if any modifications are required to the existing footprint of the KO hot swap socket, I can do them in the uh, footprint editor. By the way, another interesting detail is that KiCad version 6 now allows me to set a hatch fill for the zones. For this PCB, I have a front and a bottom zone. Both of these zones are connected to ground. Let's speed things and have a quick look at the 3D viewer in KiCad. When I was satisfied with the prototype, I've exported the Gerber files, uploaded them to PCBWay.com and they were delivered. So here is the actual prototype board that I have. On the front and on the bottom, you can see this small net, which is the result of the hatched field of the zones in KiCad. On the back of the board, we have the pads where the KO hot swap sockets should go. A very quick test shows that the hot swap sockets fit very well in the designated places so we can now proceed with soldering them. I have received the prototype printed circuit board from PCB Way. I have all components in place and now it's time to do soldering to see that the prototype is actually working as expected. Although that in the previous chapters of the video I've explained you about the pick and place machines and the process of uh, SMT assembly using machines, it's totally possible to do it with a soldering iron and this is exactly what I'm going to do for this prototype. Thanks to the magic of video editing, I'm going to speed up the process. Actually, hand soldering SMT components, it's not difficult, but it is time consuming. So first solder one of the legs of the hot swap socket to one of the pads, make sure that it's firmly there and after that solder the other leg. While soldering the hot swappable KO sockets, make sure that they are in the right direction. Obviously, it's super important that the mechanical switches after that can fit into the sockets. If you pay attention to the video, I made a mistake in the direction of a couple of sockets so that I had to turn them in the right direction after that. The printed circuit board that I have designed has some additional components that I need to solder. There is a rotary encoder and a slot for mini OLED display as well as a couple of LED strips on the back. These are LED strips with addressable LEDs of the type WS2812B. I'm done with the soldering and now it's time for testing. My mini mechanical keyboard is powered by Seed Studio's Xiao module with the Raspberry Pi RP2040 microcontroller which supports CircuitPython. I have already flashed on it CircuitPython and the popular open source firmware for mechanical keyboards KMK. As part of the preparation for this video, I've ported KMK to this board and it's available in the upstream as the board integration under the name Anavi arrows. I'm using Gateron red mechanical switches which are Cherry MX compatible and they fit pretty well in the KO hot swap sockets. I have some extra arrow keycaps left from my Ducky keyboard which are very appropriate for this use case so I'm going to put them on top of the Gateron red mechanical switches.
Last but not least, the fun part of this mini mechanical keyboard is that it also supports an I2C mini OLED display and I'm using a yellow blue display. Oh, you're still here. I'm glad that you liked this video. As a conclusion, I highly recommend to anyone designing printed circuit board for mechanical keyboards to rely on the hot swap mechanical sockets by Cahill. They support the surface mount technology, which is easy to solder for prototype boards, as you have seen previously in the video, and super easy for manufacturing, no matter if you're doing low volume or high volume manufacturing. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this type of content, please hit the like button and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And most importantly, stay tuned for new videos.